North Korea has again launched ballistic missiles, two of them, this time off the west coast of the Korean Peninsula. Now, the South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff says one ballistic missile flew a distance of 800 kilometers over land toward the sea off the country's east coast, while a second projectile, assumed to be a missile, was detected by radar but soon disappeared. Mind you, this comes just days after the U.S. warned of tougher sanctions against the reclusive state for its previous nuclear and missile tests. Our defense correspondent Kim Yeonbin reports. North Korea launched two ballistic missiles on Friday morning from Sokchon in the country's southwest. Military officials say the missile, presumed to be a medium range Nodong missile, flew 800 kilometers before falling into the East Sea. The other missile was fired from the same location, but disappeared from radar at an altitude of 17 kilometers. A South Korean military official says it most likely malfunctioned and blew up in midair. We believe North Korea is rushing to develop a nuclear tipped ballistic missile by the order of Kim Jong un. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said the missile seemed to have been fired from a transporter reactor launcher, or TEL. North Korea last test fired a Nodong missile in March 2014. It has a range of up to 1,300 kilometers, putting Seoul and Tokyo within striking distance. More concerning is that the missile warheads can be loaded with biochemical substances. The ministry says it's keeping a close eye on North Korea's nuclear and missile development and that it will maintain the highest readiness to instantly counter any threats from the regime. Military officials say that the recent launch seems to be in protest of the South Korea U.S. annual joint military drills, known as Key Resolve and Full Eagle. Friday is the final day of Key Resolve, a computer program war game exercise that aims to enhance interoperability between the two allies. Full Eagle consists of numerous field training exercises and will run through the end of April. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.